It's your fam. What's good with you? Look, fam. Look, this is just a quick uh, public service announcement from your boy. Look, fam. Check out the 2A NLA official merchandise store. We got some of the hottest gear out there. Whether it's your right to bear arms cap or your 2A NLA love guns cap or that love guns tumbler that's no joke and for you more sophisticated folks you know you got that love guns wine chiller all right if you look down in the description of the video you'll see the link to the official 2a nla store 100 percent of the proceeds from the store go directly back into the channel to bring you better content all right thanks let's get this video rolling in this episode, prior episodes, and future episodes, it's just my personal opinion. Don't take it as fact, don't take it as law, always do your own homework and come up with your own conclusions. Right about now, fam, I should go ahead and tap that like button for your boy. If you're new to the channel, I want to say welcome, come on in, you can join the congregation by smashing that subscribe button and requesting all post notifications. And if you are an existing supporter of this channel, now, I appreciate you more than you can possibly imagine. You are the reason this channel is anything. So look fam, as you can see, we are out of the home studio and I am once again recording at our good friends at Covert out in Irvine, California. If you are in a need, if you are in need of a high-end quality firearm, whether pistol, uh, long gun, rifle, or accessory, make sure you hit my guys up at Covert. I will put all their information down below, but you can find them at Covert with a K Projects.com. All right, fam, let's get this one rolling. So look, fam, I thought since I had a couple of recent acquisition, I would do a quick summary video of my uh, Atlas Gunworks gun collection. I now have five Atlas pieces, so I thought I'd kind of walk you through them kind of one by one. All right, fans, so let's start off with the Atlas EOS. The EOS is brand spanking new to uh, the Atlas family. It, it was really designed to be the ultimate concealed carry gun. It features a four and a quarter ported barrel and it has a steel grip. This is the natural evolution of the Atlas Aries and we'll talk about that a little bit more in a minute. But fam, if you haven't seen the review I've done on this video, make sure you go back and check it out. This gun is amazing. Of course, you have the stunning build quality that Atlas has become known for. Add to it that I threw on that aim point as well as that surefire, and this gun is good to go. I have not shot a four and a quarter that's better than the Atlas EOS. Next up, fam, is the Atlas NYX. This is my covert gold edition Atlas NYX. I gotta admit, fam, the Atlas NYX was not really on my radar, but when this gun came in to covert and they showed it to me, I had to add it 
to my collection. It is amazing. Um, again, the NYX is sort of a concealed carry firearm. It features a four and a quarter barrel. Um, a little bit heavier uh, than the EOS is. I'll put up the stats for you. Um, I don't know if I would carry the NYX. One of the things about the EOS is that it has a very thin grip, even though it's a double stack. This is a meteor grip, you know, probably makes it easier to shoot, particularly if you have large hands like I do. But it's a phenomenal looking gun. It's a phenomenal shooting gun. Yeah, I love my Atlas Snakes Covert Gold Edition. All right, next up fam, we have one. This is another one, y'all, that was not on my radar. I featured this in a couple of videos thus far. Um, you've seen uh, me do an unboxing on this one, a full review on this one, and then I compared this one to my Lago Arms Alien uh, head to head, and this one beat out the Alien. Of course, I'm talking about the Atlas Artemis. This is a 4.6 inch barrel gun. It features a sight block on the front. And fam, for a non-ported, non-compensated gun, I, this is one of the best shooting guns I've ever shot in my life. I would say of the, of the guns that I have currently in my collection, it is probably my second best shooting gun, maybe tied for second best shooting gun in my collection. The Atlas Artemis is amazing. It is incredibly well balanced. It shoots phenomenal. Uh, and of course I have it outfitted with that Trigicon RMR HD as well as that Surefire. Uh, this is one of my favorite uh, optics as well. I have to do a video on this one because if I could, fam, I'm not gonna lie, I would probably put the HD on every single gun that I own. That would just be very uh, costly and I would be getting rid of also great dots. Uh, so I won't be doing that, but I love, love, love the Artemis. Love this setup. Okay, next up, fam, we have the newest uh, Atlas in my collection, and that is the Atlas Apollo. This is another, similar to the EOS gun, that just came out in 2024. Man, you talk about a great shooter. Basically, Atlas took the Athena platform and tossed caution to the wind and ported the barrel, and fam, this gun shoots so fast so flat, so accurate. If you haven't seen uh, my review video, go back and check it out because this is one you should definitely be considered. Consider it. Again, 4.6 inch ported barrel, uh, no sight block on this one, uh, just a straight port. Again, everything you would expect from Atlas in terms of how uh, the quality of the materials, how smooth it is, how evenly weighted it is. Of course, we threw that aim point on there as well with that surefire, and this gun, fam, is good to go. I'm planning on putting a lot of rounds through this one uh, over the course of the year. All right, fam, last but certainly not least, in my opinion, the best pistol that money can buy, certainly the best pistol in my collection and the best pistol I have ever shot, and that's saying something, and that is, of course, the Atlas Erebus. This is Atlas kind of hybrid competition pit pistol, features uh, that huge comp and sight block on the front, smooth as silk, racking, incredible balance, so soft shooting. Almost feels like you're shooting a 22. Incredibly accurate, 4.6 inch barrel on it. Fam, look, the Atlas Erebus is the bee's knees. Other than maybe a race gun like the Chaos or something like that, you're not going to find, in my opinion, a better shooter than the Atlas Erebus. Okay, fam, so I talked about the five guns in my collection. Of course, 
Atlas has, does have a few other guns that aren't represented. So I thought I'd spend at least a little bit of time talking about them. So if you're considering an Atlas gun, you have kind of a feel for the entire uh, collection that they offer. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the Atlas Ares. So uh, the Ares is kind of the predecessor to the EOS. I'm not sure how much longer uh, they're going to be making Aries, so if you're interested, I would definitely consider it. Uh, the Aries comes in a four and a quarter, as well as a 4.6 inch barrel. Uh, I believe the 4.6 inch comes ported. Uh, you might be able to get the, the four and a quarter ported as well. Um, the reason why I'm not sure about how long uh, the Aries will be available, and I don't have any inside information at all, but you've got the Apollo in four and a six, which is ported, and you have the EOS, which is four and a quarter imported. So unless there's a reason, specific reason why you would prefer the Aries, I think the Apollo and the EOS are better shooting guns uh, given their respective sizes. Next up, you've got the Atlas Athena. And so, again, not sure how long the Athena will be offered. Um, it's a phenomenal gun, but again, it's a 4.6 inch barrel. It's non-ported. The, the Apollo, sorry, the Apollo here has kind of taken uh, its place because it's ported. It has all the features of the Athena, plus it's ported, uh, softer shooting, better shooting. So. Uh, the Athena is an amazing gun and has served Atlas well for many, many, many years, but I think the Apollo is the natural evolution of the Athena. Okay, Atlas has a couple more guns I think uh, are worth mentioning. They have the Titan RDS, which is a 4.6 inch um, barrel gun. Again, they have a lot of offerings there it's the Titan is kind of more the entry level uh, gun at that in that space. I think it retails for about $5,800 or something like that. Um, so if you're trying to get into Atlas and you want uh, an optic ready firearm, you know, that sub 6,000, the Titan is something you should consider. Uh, or if you want to hold out, then there's a lot of options like the Apollo. Uh, that come at a higher price point. So the next gun that's not shown here is the Nemesis. So if you are looking for a USPSA limited gun um, that is not optic ready, it's iron sights only, then the Nemesis is something you should consider. Uh, it comes in at around $7,000. It has a five inch bull barrel and it's incredibly uh, flat shooting, well made. Uh, but again, it's not optic ready. Um, and so it's really kind of made as a competition pistol if you're going to be shooting USPSA Limited. Last but certainly not least, and this is the one gun that I think would make my Atlas collection complete, is the Atlas Chaos. If you are looking for an open pistol, for USPSA open pistol, a pure race gun, the Chaos is the gun for you. That runs around $9,000 MSRP. It features a five inch ported barrel. I've done a review on the Chaos in the past. Crazy soft shooting, crazy fast. So if, 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 if I'm gonna pick up one more Atlas, that is probably going to be the Atlas that I get. The problem is, obviously A, it's not cheap, and B, uh, they haven't made one in quite a while because they've been in so, such busy production uh, with all of their more mainstay pistols and the Chaos is a very competition oriented pistol. But don't be surprised if an Atlas Chaos finds its way into my collection at some point in the future. All right fam, that's it for this episode. Until next time as always, I want you to take care of one another and peace.